A Queens woman who was the victim of a vicious attack beaten with a rock spent quite some time in a coma, but she is awake now and her family continues to pray for her. New York One's Ron Lee joins us from outside of Elmore's hospital with more details tonight. Ron. Dean, despite some encouraging developments, the husband of Kuo Ying Ma tells me he's trying to be realistic about his expectations for his wife's recovery here at Elmhurst Hospital. With her brown eyes wide open, Kuo Ying Ma occasionally summons the strength to move her right leg and her right hand as her doting husband of more than 40 years tries to make her hospital bed feel more comfortable. What Chan Ching Gao doesn't know is if his wife even recognizes him. Well, I, I'm, I'm not sure if he, she recognizes me, but, you know, as long as she, she hears what I'm saying and, you know, her eyes are open, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very happy. Speaking through a translator, Gao tells me the past two and a half months have been grueling. It's all dried up. I cried so much it dried up. After Gao's wife was attacked by a stranger who police say bashed her in the head with a rock. She had surgery to open her skull, drain fluids, and was placed in a medically induced coma. Due to the Omicron scare, Gao says he wasn't able to see his wife until this past Monday, when visitors were cleared again to be bedside at Elmhurst Hospital. When Gao saw her eyes open, he was overjoyed. But in the days since, he admits her condition hasn't improved. And while doctors are not sure if she will ever recover from paralysis to the left side of her body, a direct result of the attack, Gal remains hopeful that she will one day return to their home in Corona. You know, I, I've known her for a very, very long time, you know, since like uh, childhood. We've known each other since childhood. Uh, we marry at 22. You know, our relationships has been very great throughout the years. So, yeah, it would mean a lot. Gao says his wife was sweeping the sidewalk of one of his landlord's other properties at 97th Street and 38th Avenue when she was attacked. He says he and his wife, who has an outgoing and bubbly personality, came to the U.S. from China four and a half years ago, hoping to make money in America. They left behind their only child, a son who is 39, and two grandchildren, a 15-year-old granddaughter and 10-year-old grandson. The family is now praying for a miracle. I'm not sure if she recognizes me, but uh, she does. Uh, she you know she does hear what I'm saying. Police have arrested 33-year-old Eli Saul Perez on charges that include assault and criminal possession of a weapon. The Queens DA says Perez admitted to investigators that he struck a woman on the head with a rock. And Gao fears if Perez is not convicted, he could destroy the life of another family. In Queens, Ron Lee, New York One, D. Ron, thank you.